good morning everyone so i actually haven't vlogged in like two or so weeks it feels like forever um i've just been so busy like when i have a spare moment i'm working doing paperwork for my husband's business and by the afternoons i'm just so tired so i just haven't had time and i'm going to make the time because i was actually looking back at the old vlogs that i had done and the memories and like how little Cammy was and how much she's grown and I just love you know just looking back and watching the videos and seeing how much she's growing and then with the new baby coming like making the memories with him as well so I'm gonna start doing it again um, I am 28 weeks and five days I had my midwife appointment on yeah Tuesday and I'm measuring four weeks ahead so originally I was only a week ahead and now I'm four you know just the fundal height measurement that they do um, and to be honest I feel like I am so big compared to what I was with Cami um, I, I feel like I'm full term like this like the struggles at the moment that I'm no, I can't get up off the ground. I can't bend. Um, just so many things. I'm like, I feel like I was, wasn't was like this till I was like 34 weeks pregnant with Cammy. So I had a feeling that I was measuring bigger than I should have been. Um, so they did send me off to get an ultrasound just to make sure that, you know, he's, you know, growing okay and that I didn't have too much excess fluid because my tummy isn't all baby like you can feel a lot of fluid and with cami they weren't worried i did have a lot of fluid though like when they broke my waters it was like a waterfall and the midwife was like you have a lot of fluid so but i was always measuring two weeks ahead with cami this one it's four weeks so they sent send me off to get an ultrasound just to make sure i didn't have excessive amount of fluid that it could you know potentially harm the baby or something like that so when i got a scan yesterday morning um which was really nice to see little bubba again because i didn't think i would until he was born um he is measuring like a week or two ahead and i do have a lot of fluid but not a lot that they're gonna they're worried about it so um it's called poly i can't really say it poly let me just check polyhydraminos which is um, an excessive amount of amniotic fluid and you can get severe cases so that's what they were worried about um, with me and I don't have that thankfully I just have I just produce a lot of fluid I did with her I did with this baby um, so it's just my body like I just you know make a lot of fluid um, so yeah, they're not worried, but they do want me to go get another scan in four weeks time just to Just check baby out and see how he's growing still um, But he's not getting too big <laughs> She was an average size bubba. She was 3.4 kilos, but she did come two weeks early um, So yeah, they said I am likely to have this bubba early, but obviously don't want it to be too early so that's my update. I am in my third trimester, finally. I am on the home run. I am so excited. I just cannot wait to meet this little boy um, and just see Cammy become a big sister. She's just, uh, I think she'll be the best big sister. I can't wait to see, I hope. <laughs> um, but yeah, the last few weeks I've been struggling a bit more. I do feel like, yeah, I'm just heavily pregnant. I'll show you my bump. It's quite, I've got oil on it at the moment. Hold on. Oh. So, Ooh. it's quite big. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I have been a lot more tired in the last few weeks. Um, I'm waking up just so tired. The last week, I have not. Ex I've done a walk, two walks this week, but usually I do about four workouts a week, three, four workouts a week and try walk every day if I'm lucky. 
last two weeks I think it is I have not had the energy or the time like I feel like if I wasn't working as much I probably would do a workout but my workouts have been on the backbone for the last two weeks so I need to get back into that because I feel like my energy levels are much higher when I do exercise um, so yeah by two three o'clock again like I just want to be in bed having a rest she's still on two naps which is amazing because I need that time to myself to get things done and to just relax um, but yeah other than that like he's a healthy little boy he's I was kind of happy that I got to have another ultrasound because my husband hadn't been to the last I think it was two or the last one um, because of COVID and yeah he was allowed to come in this time so he was very excited to get to see him again he's a moving like no tomorrow like the kicks I get and she said that because I do have a lot of fluid he moves a lot like floats around a lot <laughs> because it's just, it's just like a little swimming pool in there so he is like a little wiggle worm um, and he especially loves when I'm relaxing um, doing nothing he, that's when he kicks the most um, but yeah other than that everything is going so well um, we have yeah about 10 to 12 weeks left and oh I'm so excited that's my little pregnancy update um, but I am gonna pick up the camera we're not doing anything today it's miserable weather um, I'm gonna I am going to do a workout little move is just going down for her first nap so I'm gonna do a workout so I'll film my pregnancy safe workout I will start my workout now and bring you guys along that was 35 minutes that's all I needed really to do um, and I am now enjoying my happy way chocolate protein powder my favorite um, and about to just do some work um, so yeah I just thought that was bad my little pregnancy update and my little pregnancy workout um, yeah just I'm gonna try and do at least a 30 minute workout for three four times a week um, just to keep my body moving like I feel so much better and more awake after doing that um, and try to do like a walk five days a week um, but yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next vlog which will be my weekend vlog bye